Okay, here's the key fob from my Ram uh, 2014 1500. Anyway, it kept going off, locking itself. So I just took it apart. I wanted to get the battery out. Oh, and by the way, to get the battery out, you're going to need a tiny screwdriver to get this screw out, which is um, right there. It's so tiny. It's a tiny Phillips head. I had to use this knife to get it out. Anyway. So what was happening is these buttons here, you know, you got your panic, your unlock, your lock, and your auto start. Um, a, I wish I would have known this a long time ago. I would have done this for the panic because I absolutely hate the panic. Um, they have these little metal things here. One for your panic, one for your unlock, one for your lock and one for your auto start. So there's uh, the four of them there. And I think what was happening is it came loose and that metal piece was just hovering on this, um, the lock. And that metal piece was shifting around and sometimes it would come down here and the car would start itself. So this is what your problem is. If your car is constantly locking itself, um, you have one of these metal pieces loose it should be attached here. So I'm gonna to try to crazy glue just the unlock one on and um, see what, and then do some experimenting and see what happens. Okay, that um, upper one there is the unlock and I just tested it and it does work. That is the lock. I might've put too much glue on it so I'm worried it won't work. But that's definitely it, these little circles. Um, you need, I've lost one, so I might, that's my auto start. So I gotta try to find one and fix the auto start. But that's it, that's why the key fob was acting crazy. Okay, here's a test. The lock is not working. I put too much glue on the top and it's not making a contact, which is fine. At least it's not randomly starting and doing all kinds of things with that piece of metal floating around in there. The unlock works and that's that uh,